for the recording. Good morning, Michigan. Back at you with another T Brothers review. I'm Nico Little Bro, and that's Steph. Big Bro. And we are on our hunt, our quest, our mission to find the best burger in the world. In Michigan. Maybe the world, the world the right? World. So listen, guys. Arby's has a new Wagyu burger. Wagyu Steakhouse, right? So it's called the Wagyu Steakhouse burger. Yeah. It comes with lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, and a special sauce, right? And American cheese. So we're going to try it out. I seen somebody do a review on this and they said it was pretty decent. My issue is Wagyu is an expensive cut. I know it's an American blend, uh, the Wagyu they're using here, but it's an expensive cut. They're selling the sandwich, what was it, six bucks? How much is the sandwich? No, it could be six bucks. Hold on. Each sandwich was $9.97. That kind of, right? Or no? Big Bro was feeling it out. He said, uh, had an onion just fall out of my bag. He said it was pretty cold. Oh, it's, not cold. it's not cold. Here's the top pop for you guys. Here it is. Special sauce. I don't know what that is. The bottom is the special sauce with. Uh, it's like um, what they put on big boys and um. It's not bad. Um, Thousands Island. It's kind of like it. Yeah, it's it a little tangier though. Yeah, it is back in taste now. You're right. I know it's a little sweet to me. It's sweet and tangy. Here's that bite. This bun is way too big. The patty is... Look how fat the patty is. Wait. Yours is... Look how well done mine is compared to yours. Yeah. <laughs> mine, they didn't cook long enough. This is not even medium. I don't know. Let me try... First, I want to say go visit my homeboy Nick Scheffler, Graphic Designs. You need anything, mention my name, 20% off. He slashes the price. Um, this is not as impressing as I thought it was going to be. Mine is a medium cooked medium, <laughs> so it's not. Mine's done well done. Yours is done well done. There's no, yeah. I don't like the sauce. I'm sorry. Is that just no. me or you good with the sauce? This sauce doesn't go good with a burger. It's just not a burger sauce. Um, tomato is really fake and nasty. But usually at a fast food place, it's nasty tomatoes. I'm really trying to give this. I'm really trying to give it a chance. The bun's supposed to be toasted. This is not toasted. Is your bun toasted? No, that's why I thought the burger was cold. Because the bun was cold. Damn, I'm really thinking, guys, this might be just location. But I have to give what I try. Right? I can't I can't just go... Just because somebody got a... All right, boys. So, we oh, we are at 15 Mile in Fraser, Fra or Fraser Michigan. 15 Mile in Fraser, right? Don't ever Fraser. come to this place. Don't ever come here. Uh, they undercooked one of the burgers, overcooked the other burger. I can't have this. Um, I tried. I don't even want to score this. Yeah. Right? Can you put mine in there too? If this is what Wagyu tastes like, don't get Wagyu. I don't know what Wagyu is. This is not real Wagyu. What they did with this, you know what they did, stuff? You can't overcook Wagyu. They put uh, Wagyu talent in there. Which is a fat, and they probably just cook it with the fat, and they say it's why you. Yeah, but not, not if you burn it black. Yeah, it's not real why you. All right, so we'll do. Uh, I'm gonna give it personally because that was really, really bad. I know you're gonna. Again, maybe it's different in location. Listen, sometimes you guys, when we give the scores, understand it varies yeah, in location, location, right? But I'm saying my personal myself, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna get a four point four. Give it a four point four. Overly generous. Four point four. I'm gonna give him a three point eight. 3.8. I think it's a good score. Um, for their curly fries, we've done a great on this before, but every location, I'm going to try the curly fries out. Mine are burnt black. Even a, <laughs> let me see yours, bro. Hold on. I'm not like, I'm not, bro, I have ones that are burnt black. For the curly fries, these are not real Arby's curly fries, bro. Ar Arby's curly fries are usually like on point. I'm going to give them... I mean, they're better than the burger. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to give it a 4.9. Yeah, that's a good score. Four point nine. Four point nine for the value. What are you giving? Uh, I'm gonna give him four point five. I know you're being overly 
I'm being a little generous today because we had really good pizza. Oh my God. I hate it when we have the first thing we try is really, really good. And the next thing is just garbage. Yeah. So this location, Frasier, or uh, Frasier, yes. 15 and Whatever. 15 mile. That was terrible. Yeah, don't even tell the people where it the is. The food was terrible. Um, don't try this place and don't let them know we sent you. Like, don't do that. If you have any products you want us to review, there's an email down below. Let me know. We'll get it on there. We'll make a video of it. Um, and as far oh, look it. And there's also normal fries in mine. Um, well, I, sometimes that does happen. So, anyways, that's a review, boys. Remember, the three most important in life, that's your faith. Food. Nope. That's your faith. Family. And food. And until next time. Not this food. Not this food. Until next Dude, there's some RB locations that are good, though. Yeah, That's the, the one by your house. I told you, let's go to the one by your house. I didn't want to do the same yeah, one we've but already done. But at least we would have got the best version of it. All right. Um, again, I've seen one person do a review on this. He said it was okay. I would rather have a regular burger. Yeah. Like, I don't get what was special about that. That didn't really taste good. All right, boys.